Hi everybody, Jeff from Elk Mountain Gear, and I want to introduce you to the world's most dangerous moo cow. This is the moo cow decoy from Elk Mountain Gear. It's our newest slipcover release. This particular one, I've modified it. I've cut a hole in the slipcover itself, and um, I actually made a shoot-through modification. I'll show you how I did that. It's pretty simple. Um, Basically, this is just uh, the middle out of a plastic Gatorade bottle, and I uh, painted it flat black, cut a hole in the top so that I could uh, run the strap in the umbrella through it, and that's what keeps it upright. And uh, basically, you can wedge this down in between the two flaps on the canopy here. to make a shoot through mod. I'll stick it in there real quick, just give me a second here. So now you can see the hole in place. Um, I was actually able to shoot through this the other day into my 3D elk target and I've never shot through anything before so it works. Um, and personally I wouldn't use the gear this way. I usually shoot around one side of the blind. Um, I prefer to do that. That's just me. Um, since I shoot bare bow with fingers. So I'm itching to take this thing out and see what I can see with it and uh, maybe I can get maybe I can stock something this afternoon. I'm gonna see if there's any deer around. Um, go for a little drive. There's two really nice bucks out there. They're moving into a little draw.
Well, I finally, uh, I got to test out the slip system tonight. I had uh, a couple of does, blacktails, um, down along these power lines that I spotted off the road. So I decided to see if I could just come around the top of the hill and then walk down into them. And um, I was able to do it pretty well. They were, they heard me coming, so they had their heads up when I walked over the hill. But uh, they pretty much tolerated my presence, and I didn't really take my time. <laughs> I just was pretty much bolt upright. I had the camera sitting on top of the slip system here. Um, I didn't have my camera adapter. I just screwed the video camera right here on top. So the camera was sort of sticking up, and, uh, you know, that can... I'm sure that looked a little weird to that doe, that big doe. Um, she, she didn't exactly know what I was. She blew once, took off down the hill, and then stopped again, and I was able to walk inside 40 yards on her. The first time I got, I walked right up just about 30 yards from her. Um, so if I would have just sat there, I'm sure she would have relaxed and started feeding like the one behind her did eventually, and I could have creeped in. But anyway, I'm, even with that camera sitting I'm on top, it kind of worked, so I'm pretty happy. I think this is uh, this is going to be responsible for a lot of animals going down this year. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care.